Well, I wish this floating color control was available in all the other effects, but hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. A lot of filmmakers work from laptops, which simply means that most of the time they don't have access to a dedicated larger monitor. However, in order to judge the colors of, of your image, a lot of times you need to see a larger version of that image, so you need to see it in full screen. In Resolve, whenever you uh, turn the image into full screen or you see a large preview of your image, you lose access to your color controls, except for one. By the way, did you know that you can go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for our free DaVinci Resolve Crash Course where you can learn the basics of each tab in Resolve? Simply go to filmsimplified.com and sign up for free. So let's say that you want to work with this image now. In order to see a larger preview of this image, I can simply click on this button here and now I have a large preview, but let's say that you wanted to see a larger preview of the image. One of the things you can do is to go to workspace, viewer mode, and here you have an option to show a full page viewer. If I click it, now I can see a larger preview, but notice that I lost access to all of my color controls. Of course, another option is to even go to workspace, viewer mode, and use cinema viewer. And now I only have the image on the screen, but again, no color controls. Let's click here to get out of this mode in order to go to our normal view. Now, one of the things that were introduced with the latest version of Resolve is this very interesting button. In the curves panel, we have this small button here. If I click it, now the curves are displayed in a floating window that I can simply move around and even resize. However, notice what will happen once I use cinema mode. I have a shortcut to access cinema mode. I'll simply click it. It's the letter C. And notice that now I have the image in the background in full screen. And I also have the curves controls, which means that now I can control the image while seeing a larger view of the image on my screen. And if I wanted to see a different part of the image, I can move this window around in order to see the image. And on top of having access to the curves, I also have access to all of the controls to the right. So so let's reset, for example, use the Y curve, maybe just increase the contrast a bit in the image, go to the blue channel, bring it down and up a bit in shadows and take a look at the image. If I play, you can see that I can play the image in real time and I still have my controls here, which will allow me to fine tune my image the exact way I want while seeing a large view. However, we only have access to curves. Curves do not allow us to control things like saturation, for example. So are there any other windows where we have the same control? We also have the same controls in the color warper. So I'll click here to open the color warper. And here I have the same button. I'll click it. And now I can change the size of the color warper. And now notice I'll add a new node and go back to full screen view. And now I even have more controls to work on my image using a floating window. So for example, I can change the blues of the image, including their saturation and hue. And I have all these controls available to me on a floating window while still seeing the full image in the background. And it's nice that I can move this window around. Well, I wish this floating color control was available in all the other effects, but currently I think it's only available in a couple of windows on top of the scopes. However, this will make your work much easier when you know, you're know you using your laptop and you don't have access to a dedicated second monitor. So I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, please visit us at filmsimplified.com where you can join our free DaVinci Resolve crash course that is designed for the absolute beginner and will take you through every tab in Resolve. Thank you. FilmSimplified.com